The NES version was missing the useless ladder at the beginning of this room, but hello? What's this? Going down this ladder reveals a similar hallway like the useless one in the Genesis version, but at the end of it we come across a gaggle of humans sitting around just shooting the shit. Hey, it's the creators of the game! That's kinda cool. Makes me wonder if these guys were intended to be in the useless room at the beginning of the worm floor on the Genesis version, but for some unknown reasons were left out. Hmm. When Will Harvey asks for a cup of coffee, don't lie and tell him you have some, or... He killed his own son! Diabolical! Hey everybody, Nefarious West here. Now, I have been known to make some mistakes. Errors are inevitable. When you make videos, you're naturally going to drop the ball on some things. But... There's something that you can always do. You can always make corrections. You can always admit that you were wrong. And I feel that I have always done that. I've even made 25 minute long correction videos when I have been wrong. So it has been brought to my attention recently that I not necessarily made an error, but I missed something in my video comparing the Immortal NES versus the Sega Genesis version. Now, a commenter by the name of Chimera um, provided me with some information letting me know that you can, in fact, get coffee to give to the developers in the NES version of The Immortal, where I thought it was just some kind of inside joke that no one would get. Boy, was I wrong. But when he told me about this, provided me with a link with some information, I was intrigued. I had to see it for myself. He even threw a little video together to show me how to do it. Well, damn it, I had to see it for myself, so that's exactly what I did. So, you know what? Let's take a look. In stage four, while riding his magic flying carpet, the old man comes across an inconspicuous pot of coffee. Fast forward ahead to stage 5, we're in the dreaded worm room. You come into contact with the game's developers. You now have the prize cup of Joe that Mike so desperately needs in the morning. And this entire time, I had thought that the developer's craving for coffee was an inside joke. As a reward, the Immortal Crew gifts you with the spell of infinite body odor. A spell so putrid, it drops trolls dead in their tracks. Sweet! So there you go. You can give coffee to the developers in The Immortal. I never knew that. So thanks a lot, Chimera, for bringing that to my attention and uh, for going to all the lengths that you did to show me the proof. I really appreciate it. It's a pretty awesome Easter egg that all these years later I never knew about it and now I do. So that's pretty cool uh, that games this old still have little secrets that you can find to this day and that's pretty awesome so again thanks a lot for bringing that to my attention um, but if you ever see an error made by me um, something that I may have missed go ahead let me know because if it's a big deal I'm gonna make a video for it I'm gonna correct myself so don't hesitate to uh, correct me when I make a blunder so anyway, thanks for watching this correction video. I will catch all you guys later.